another day, another adventure, another national, national park, park slash the, national monument. Yep, they're our favorites. So we, in the last year, we've gone to what, 25, 26? 23, some, some that we've lost count. Too many, many national parks, parks and monuments. Yes. And we are in St. Louis. That is the arch behind us. There it is. Uh, but our National Parks Pass actually expires at the end of today. Yeah, We've had it tomorrow. for 12 months. <laughs> Tomorrow's August 1st, so that's the end. We have definitely gotten our money. Oh my worth. gosh, so much. Uh, we actually passed up a, a number of national yeah, parks and monuments, monuments here and there. a lot just because yep. we had other destinations to see. We're like, hey, there's another one. No, yeah, we don't have time today. It. Yeah, but we have hit a lot and definitely got our money's <clears> worth. We will be renewing the next time we hit another park. Yep. We have Cayuga basically in our backyard. But you actually don't need a yeah. National Park Pass to get into that one. So we are heading up to the top of the arch. Uh, you don't get in for free with your National Park Pass, get but you discount. do get a discount. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it for? I don't remember. I, she buys I the tickets. Remember. I bought the ticket. We get, so we paid the full price, but we're supposed to get a refund with our card. So we'll for see. For a percentage, yeah. yeah. So we've got uh, probably like 30 minutes until our time slot to go up, take the tiny elevator, and then yeah. all 96 steps to the top. That's what I thought I read. I don't know. Who knows? We we're might be wrong. We're also told we lay down inside to see out the window. So this is unknown, and we're excited to get in there. Let's go inside. Are you hugging it? I'm trying to climb up. Come on. You got a long ways to go. Come on. Step one. Apparently it is 630 feet tall. It is double the height of the Empire State Building. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Double the height. Are those the little windows? Is that what we're going to see out of? Those little slots? Uh, I can't see what you're talking about. Zoom. Yeah, maybe so. You get the jump out. You guys finally standing in the middle? We're in the middle. There's a splat, well, a little fountain thingy to put your feet in down there. Let's go cool off. So a little bit of a disappointment. We got in here and we had our tickets reserved for 415 and we're supposed to get a refund. But if you go ask for a refund because you have a national park pass to save $3 only for adults, you don't save the money for kids. Uh, they cancel your tickets and you have to reserve other tickets. And right now the next available time to go up is 445, or sorry, 545. We don't wanna wait an extra hour and a half so we're not gonna get our $6 back. But just a note for everybody, if you do reserve online, they'll then cancel your tickets to give you a refund, but you will actually have to get a later time slot if there's nothing open anymore for the time slot that you chose already. A little bit of a bummer, we're out six bucks, but oh well, at least we are able to go up the time that we want. Uh, and not having to wait an hour and a half extra is, As you probably have picked up on my I'd say worth six bucks. You're very welcome. Do you guys like to keep your uh, packets in there? Got another Green Ranger badge? Yeah, the arch has a hat on top. Yeah, look. Hold still, hold still. Can't see it. Look at that, it's got the arch and the Ranger badge. At... I'll take that back, thank you. This is like a maze. Okay, Airport exactly. style security in here. You gotta get through security. Yeah. yeah. Get your oar. Got a paddle. Did 
the museum here at the bottom of the arch, actually underneath the arch, I think is where most of this is, uh, is a lot like the other state museums that we've been to. It's free to get in. This one's done really well, a lot of interactive things. Um, yeah, it's just been remodeled, so it's, it's really fantastic. So it's free to get into this part. You only need a ticket to ride up to the top. This here is the example of the elevators that we're going to be going in. Do you get to crank it by hand? Yeah. So they go up sideways over the arch. Just enough room for a couple of us. The history of the arch is actually born out of a fire or disaster that hit St. Louis and burned down about approximately 15 city blocks, over 100 buildings, three people lost their lives, uh, over 20 steamboats that were on the river were burned as well, and it was just a catastrophe for the riverfront of St. Louis. And so years later, uh, one of the people who lived in the city came up with this idea that the the city needed a national landmark just to revitalize the city and the riverfront because a lot of the businesses had moved away. They got approval from the mayor and then uh, after a couple years they got approval from the president as well to make it a national project for St. Louis just because it was kind of this symbol of the gateway to the west and that's kind of the history of getting this project up. It, the whole area that the arch is in is actually the area that was devastated from that fire all those years ago.
that was a lot of fun. That was super cool. It really was. Yeah, I mean, the we were expecting a much shorter wait, 45 minutes. That didn't happen. We finished up in an hour and yeah. 25. It, not too bad, but no. we were tired already from a long day of driving, so just the extra waiting time just to yeah, get up was there a was rough, a little bit tedious. But so. it was really cool. The whole engineering of how the cars work and the little pods, I would not recommend it if you are claustrophobic. Um, there is a yes. window to see the, to the, see, inside, uh, the inside of the arch, of the arch as yeah. you go up. Um, so that's helpful maybe, but it is very tight and lots of people around. So just be aware of that. Um, but otherwise, I mean, for us, we're not scared of thumbs that. Thumbs up for, yeah. for the it arch. Was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully we'll see you guys on the road.